Hi, my name's Thiet and I did a video uh, quite recently on stat priorities, especially with a bit of an eye on Legion uh, in the way that they may change a little bit. If you haven't seen that, uh, there's an annotation there, you can click on that. I alluded to something in that video in terms of how you might be able to help yourself determine stat priorities uh, and I'm going to go through that in this video now. So if you'd watched that video I did, and I do urge you to watch it if you hadn't, what I was talking about was in some ways the folly of just going for a nice easy set priority target list uh, that you might see on guides and, and why it's a, a bit of a trap really, uh, it's a bit of a trap for people if they don't fully understand it. Um, but of course some people will want them. Okay. But then you ask yourself, why do people want them? And that's what this video is really going to look at, how we can help ourselves here. Why do people want uh, an order of secondary stats? Why do they want to know which is better between crit, mastery, versatility or haste? Because you want to know which enchant to use. And you want to know if a piece of gear is an upgrade for you or not. And if it is an upgrade, how much of an upgrade? Yeah, that's what it's, what, that's what it's for. That's what we want it for. Well, you may be in luck. Um, I There is a new project coming that may help people with this. Traditionally, if people wanted to sort of um, do some of this, you're either left to doing your own theory crafting or you can use SimCraft. Now, I have done a bit of a video on the very basics of SimCraft, uh, which I did ooh, some time ago now. There's a link there. It's mostly for, for retribution parties, but the actual way you use SimCraft is the same. It doesn't matter what you are. The problem with SimCraft is that it is not at all user-friendly. It's pretty horrendous, in fact. I don't like using it. Um, another problem with it is because you're actually downloading it onto your computer, that you have to know that you've got the same build, uh, or the, the most up-to-date build, I should say. So you look at... Um, you, you might use it one week, and then a few weeks later, you might come around to using it again, but you've got to check it's still the most up-to-date one. And if not, get rid of that, download the newest one. Now, this fact, the fact that it's not user-friendly means that still the vast majority of people just want to go onto a guide or something like that and say, what is the best one? Which trinket should I use? Which enchant should I use? You know, is this gear an upgrade for me? And it's very difficult for a lot of people to tell for a number of reasons. And I could go into those reasons now, but I'm not going to because in actual fact, it may not matter. There is a new uh, simulator, maybe, coming in. I'm not sure exactly when. Now, I was, I've not been able to talk to it up until now because they were trying to keep it like a little bit hush hush to begin with. But now they're sort of talking openly about it, the people who are developing this, which is Ask Mr. Robot. You may know Ask Mr. Robot as a site where you can go on now and import your character and um, it'll look through your bag and see if there's any items which are a bit of an upgrade. So already you can sort of do this a little bit couple of drawbacks to it. Uh, one, it's I think it just sort of looks in your bag um, for gear. Um, the other thing is, although in theory it looks at it and you can say, okay, this, this piece of gear might be better than this piece of gear, it's usually just based upon standard SIM DPS, which usually is for a set fight length and for a set type of fight, usually patchwork fight. Now, the problem with a patchwork style fight, which is just pure single target fight, is that we haven't had a patchwork style fight since patchwork. So it's not hugely accurate from that point of view. But they have been working on a simulator. Um, I was sort of invited to have a look at it uh, a little bit ago on the strength of a video I did on on something on a blog that one of the authors of it uh, wrote. Uh, if you want to see that, there's an annotation somewhere on the screen. And what I want to do is to sort of show you what it can do. Um, as with anything like this, what will matter most of all is that it is really accurate. Now, what you'll also be able to see as I go through it is there's actually a lot of scope for it to do a lot of very clever things. But we're going to approach this from the core design aim of it which is something that allows you to tell 
um, which piece of gear is an upgrade for you. That's ultimately what it's going to be able to do. So it's important to note that not all features are enabled at the moment. This is beta with it. So what we're going to do, I'm going to get, get rid of these. These have caused trouble for me. Um, it's for Legion, of course, so there's no sort of copying characters in at the moment because, well, Legion isn't live. Uh, <laughs> But I'm gonna I'm gonna put in my uh, retribution or a retribution paladin I should say. This has got the PvP template enabled. The reason for that is because on the beta servers, the PvP server with the PvP pre-mades, they're all level 110 for which this is designed, and all have full artifacts again for which is this is designed. So we're going to load this now. <clears throat> there are a number of options we have. Now at the moment we've just got a standard set of gears. So we're not we can't change this just yet. But just to show you some of the things that that we can do with it. So choose a virgin, uh, a virgin. Oh, I wish. Choose a version, uh, beta. Boss script. So we've got a few. I mean, these are Hellfire Citadel ones at the moment because that's what we're most familiar with. Um, these will be changed and will be customizable to a certain extent as well. Um, so you can change like um, fight lengths and things like that. But that's not available just yet. So if we were to do, let's do an ISCA, which is a mixture of single target and AOE. Uh, rotation, just yeah, whatever that is. Right, now, <clears throat> there's some things we can change. So we can determine our talents. Um, so unlike on, on, on SimCraft, where the easiest way to do that is to put in the talents you would have, log out, so it gets from the armory. So I would say, in, in a bit of a mixture thing, I would still go with Execution Sense, actually, on an ISCA type fight. Probably Zeal. Uh, might go for Divine Hammer though. It seems weird going for Execution Centers and Divine Hammer on the same fight, but just for the hell of it. And we'll just click those. Uh, it doesn't really matter for now. The artifact, let's just uh, pick ourselves some nice traits. These are the ones we ideally want, wouldn't it? The Wrath of the Ashbringer one. And you can sort of see, I mean, you can take some of these off um, and so on, but why would we do that? Um, but, you know, if you haven't fully uh, upgraded your artifacts, and it's going to take some time to do that, then you can change some of these as well, which is all very handy. Gives you uh, a basic idea about your stat priority. Uh, don't listen too much to this at the moment. Don't go looking at that. Oh, versatility first. No. Um, this is just what it is at the moment. There are. It's not... 100% accurate at the moment. It's very difficult to make it 100% accurate when Blizzard are changing things all the time. Anyway, you can override certain values here. So let's say, you know, there had been some changes, you, you're a bit of a theorycrafter yourself and you want to just put in some of your own values here, then absolutely you can do that. Uh, and then when you've done that, I mean, there are more things down here we can change um, in terms of your own reaction times and latency, uh, various things like that. We're just going to leave that for now. Uh, right, there we go. So it gives us uh, a number of things here. So it gives us an overall DPS thing. Remember at the moment this wouldn't be accurate, but hopefully this could give you some idea. It's for a set amount of time. So this is talking about six minutes, give or take 12.5%. Um, at the moment we can't really change that, but the aim is at some point you would be able to amend that. But remember, the, the primary goal of this is for you to be able to compare gear, not necessarily, although this would be a good aim eventually, but it's not necessarily to say, okay, we're now killing this boss in this amount of time. Maybe this talent would be better or maybe this trinket would be better because that's a question we're asking, of course, at this time in hell, in the later stages of Hellfire Citadel. Um, but that's not its main aim and it might take some time before that's a feature. But you can sort of see what's doing your, your main Damage here, um, you're getting a bit of a breakdown there. Buffs, you can see buff uptime likelihood on, on various things here. So it's a nice way of um, of just having a simulation for yourself that gives you a nice amount of detail without all the pain of in the arse of SimCraft. The other thing you'll notice is because it is done on a website, uh, ask Mr. Robot's website, you you don't have to download things, which means you don't have to worry about whether you've got the latest version, it will be updated. 
So the only times you have to worry about whether it's gonna be accurate or not is just after Blizzard have changed some things and we just need to know how long it will take to be updated. But isn't this useful? Um, so what I'd, you know, obviously we are sort of feeding back, uh, giving feedback. Are, do people have some um, thoughts on this? Would you actually use this? Because from my point of view, lots of people see things in it. I see a lot of things in it. I mean, one thing I see in it, but I don't, this isn't the primary goal. I said this uh, because when we were sort of invited to go into it, we were sort of shown um, a live demonstration of this. And the question I asked was, you know, about customizing the fight, because one thing that this would be useful for raids for my purposes is can you determine when, for example, heroism would be used? So maybe you as a guild are thinking, is it better now the time we're killing this to use heroism here or here in the fight? And you could maybe try both ways and see how it goes. That's not something that's going to be doable early on at least, um, because that would it would take a lot longer to generate the simulation and it's not the core aim of it and there's a lot of work goes into this and there's only so many people doing it. There's actually a very small number of people uh, doing this and it all looks very good for me. So what you'd really be thinking of is you're using this for you personally to decide you know, which enchants would be good because we can change those and... Uh, we, you know, if, I mean, if I go back here, for example, if we look at gear, at the moment, as I say, we can't. Oh, ah, oh, okay, okay. So we can. We couldn't before, right? Okay. Um, so you can sort of see here uh, some examples of things to put on. I'm not sure. So at the moment, it's sort of suggesting we would use haste. Oh, isn't that interesting? Um, especially as, according to this, the stats haste is our worst value. I wonder what that's about. But anyways, the general idea is you'd be able to click on this. It'll give you a rough idea of which enchant might be best for you. Um, the same thing with gear. You'd be able to click on this and it would sort of suggest which ones were upgrades. Of course, you'd still have to sort of bear in mind um, things about, you know, whether it's sort of Warforged or Titanforged, uh, as I think it's going to be called in Legion, or whether it's got a socket or something like that. Um, but it does allow you to be able to tell the difference between different sets of gear. Or maybe you're thinking to yourself, okay, well, on an individual basis, like if I swap to this particular piece of gear, but maybe if I change that, maybe, you know, maybe you've got two choices for shoulders and two choices for helms. And you've got what this says is your best set of shoulders. <clears throat> but then you change the helm, all of a sudden, maybe the other set of shoulders is better. Uh, sometimes little things like that can happen and it's really quick and easy to do is the main aim of this unlike in SimCraft where quite frankly it's a bit of a pain in the ass so first question is do you think this is something you would make use of would from my point of view this would be successful if two things happen one it's accurate it needs to be accurate it needs to provide you with accurate data but second of all if the vast majority of people who would not use SimCraft would instead of going to try and find information such as you know is this item an upgrade or which trinket should i use or which enchant should i use instead of going to try and find it on a guide which is very difficult to do around because guides can only be very general and and they're not specific to you and your circumstances or they might go onto a forum and and ask people and maybe they'll give you good advice and maybe they won't is this the sort of thing you would think actually do you know what I'm not going to go on a forum and ask it. I'm not going to go to a guide to ask these sorts of questions. I think this tool is easy enough to use that I will just use this. And if the answer to that is yes, then I think this will be uh, really successful. And, and I really hope it comes off and I really hope it is accurate. And I hope that they can keep it accurate when Blizzard do change things. Um, and as I say, I don't know exactly when it's going to come out because it'll come out when it's done. It's, there's no point in them rolling it out until it's done. It's not necessarily time to come out in, in, in time for Legion. Um, I don't know what the time scale is, or even if there is one, if it's just, you know, it's done when it's done. So if you want to be kept updated with uh, this, of course, I'll be reporting on it from time to time. But the, the people who are doing it, of course, Ask Mr. Robots, they're the guys to follow. Follow them on Twitter. Um, hopefully there'll be updates every now and then. 
As always, I hope you found this interesting. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Also share it with other people who you think might find it interesting. And until next time, I'll see you later.